Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to burn a professional sounding CD. For this you are going to need lossless audio and I detail how to get lossless audio from CDs in a previous video, so go ahead and check that out now. I'm going to provide this link in the description. This is the safe mirror to get the program that we're going to be using from. Please don't use other mirrors as there are some people who, um, some mirrors that have malware on them. So this is a really good safe mirror to use. What you want to do when you get to the site is click on the blue download now, not any of the other advertisements. Click on the blue download now. And it's going to ask you what mirror to download from. Just click on the Softpedia mirror and that will download the file. Now this file is a 7-zip archive which self-extracts and it's going to download this portable version of IMG Burn which doesn't install anything to your system. It's going to ask you where you want to save it. I personally save mine in a documents folder under IMG Burn Portable. As it is right there. It's going to install all of this. Nothing that you really need to be concerned about as it is completely safe even if you scan the file with Virus Total. Now what you want to do when you've gotten here is run the imgburn.exe and it'll open up this folder after detecting your C drive. Ah, not folder, window. And to start making your audio CD, click on Write Image File to Disk. And now what you want to do is click on this Create Q file. And it is at this point in which we're going to create a uh, professional sounding CD and one that looks good in the car stereos that support this. There is a feature supported in this burner called CD Text. It gives your CDs a more professional feel and allows car stereos and computers to recognize the CD and the tracks on them. So if you need to go rip it later, it'll automatically have the track information for you. Now let's get started with that. So what you want to do is click on Disk and make sure that this is set to custom and tag by default. If it wasn't before, click on custom for the CD text. I'm going to create a compilation CD, so my performer is going to be various artists, and I'm going to call this the April 2019 mix. Now what we want to do is add in the files that we're going to be using. So click on this icon and it's going to pop up with the open folder. I'm going to grab my lossless music, which is in C, lossless music for me, and then I'm going to grab stuff from here. At this point, you fill in whatever you want. I'm just going to collect, um, select some random ones, and so now I've selected some songs and then I click on open so select multiple hold down control and it's automatically going to process these files I think it might have an error with one of them that's not encoded properly but that shouldn't happen as long as yours are all encoded properly yeah there's the one that didn't work so I'm just going to remove that. This actually gives me a great chance to talk about how to remove a track. You want to click on the track that you want to remove or has an error and click on this X. And that's it. Now what it's going to do is it's, you can rearrange all of these files. So let's say I want this track one to be the last song. So I click on that. Or I want this one to be moved up one. So forth and so forth. And you would just fill the CD to 51%. Um, for me, or you can fill it to like 98%. I don't recommend going to 100, as it might cause stress on the burner. You want to make sure that it says prefer accurate audio track duration and add to write cue when done. You can edit any of these CD text prompts by clicking on custom. It'll leave whatever there was in there, and you can edit whatever you need to out. And if you know, for example, that some of these tracks don't have silences at the end of them, such as this one here. What I do is go to the track before and click a pre-gap of two seconds. 
So now that's only set on that track. And that's about it. You should be able to um, create a professional sounding audio CD now. A couple of last things before we go to the burning process. This will give you the track listing, which you can save to whatever file you want. To do that, open it up and go to File, Save As, and save it wherever you want. And when you're done and you're ready to export, click on Quick OK, and it'll save that. And then what you want to do is insert a compatible CDR. I'll do that now. Since this is completely random, I won't actually be burning the CD, but I'm going to show you how it behaves when a CDR is inserted. Put in your blank CDR or CDRW if you want to use that. As you can see, it has figured out that this is a CDR and it says that it is empty. Now, you want to make sure your write speed is set to AWS, copies however many copies you need, and you want to make sure that verify is checked off. That'll make sure that the disk matches the image when it's done burning, and then just click on this icon right here, and it'll start the burning process. Uh, now I'm just going to grab a CD that was created with this program and show you how CD text is read by a computer that can read CD text provided you have the right software. So this is a compilation CD that I just created yesterday and I'll show you how it's read when you send it into a program. In this case my audio player is FUBAR2000. I do a video on that with ripping CDs in lossless format so you can go check that out. So if we play the CD which doesn't have any records in any database it says that the April 2019 mix and it has all of these tracks with CD text which shows you track title and artist and at this point I'm just gonna take a quick reminder before the end of this that you should be only burning compilation CDs for your own personal use non-commercially thank you for that and I hope you enjoyed the video feel free to discuss among yourself in the comments and leave feedback for me thank you and have a great day we'll see you in the next video